Here you can see Ishka grazing today's section. That was yesterday. This is today. So you can see where the electric fence was right up there. This is one of the copper beaches that I planted this spring. It's looking really, really well. So we made the fence very high so the horse can't reach over and nibble it. But then at the bottom, we made enough space so a sheep can get their head under to do a bit of grazing. So it won't get totally overgrown in there, I hope, anyway. So these guys will have this section to graze. They've done a great job here. They've grazed all the thistles just about. So it's pretty much cleaned off. So yes, horses do eat thistles. Isn't that right, Marco Polo? They'll eat the grass and their favorite bits first, and then they'll eat the thistles. They'll leave the nettles, but that's okay. She's feeling on her own. She's gonna go join her mother. You good boy. Oh, you're avoiding me too. They all think I'm gonna chase them off of this lovely fresh stuff. But no, they've got a day's grazing in there for the three of them. Sorry, that's 24 hours grazing. And you can see the grass has gone to seed. There's one, two, three. That's just three different kinds of grasses just right there. There's some of that stuff, some of that stuff. There's dock leaves, which they'll eat as well. There's some field herbs. Let's see what else is there. Oh, this is another grass. So that's four different grasses just within this small area. At least four different grasses. There's probably, oh, look, yep, five different grasses. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and you can see how close that was. Those are five different grasses. You can see there's five different grass heads in just that small area. So there's lots of thistles they'll eat as well, and there'll be clover and all kinds of things mixed in that they will consume. Dandelions, all kinds of things. So they're doing an excellent job. You can see where they've been the last few days. And see, they leave behind, there's bits of herb. Then um, there'll be bits of clover. I don't see any right here, but there'll be bits of clover. And then when I fence them off, the clover will resuscitate and grow back even stronger because there's a mechanism in grass and legumes and things like that, that when they're grazed, it stimulates their regrowth. So there you go, there's clover. So that's, um, and then the dung beetles will attack the dung. So that's how you, it's possible to regeneratively graze horses. And this field has not had any fertilizer, not even farmyard manure in Gosh, it could be seven or eight years now. So it's a really good grazing platform for the horses. And then the sheep will follow when this all grows back. You can see over here, the horses, what they graze down is growing back. You can see the fresh growth, which is perfect.